Okay? So we can have, in a sense, a positive analogical relationship between A and B. Again, we can have a positive analogical relationship between A and B, which basically says A and B, in this analogical relationship, share properties. We can have a negative analogical relationship with respect to A and B, which basically says A and B do not share properties. Okay, number three, we can have a neutral analogy. We can have a neutral analogy, and this says A and B, and I'll give you an example in a second, A and B may or may not share properties. It's possible, right? They, this is known as contingency, right? A and B may or may not share properties, meaning that obviously if they share properties, then it becomes a positive analogy. If they end up not sharing properties, then they become a negative analogy. At the point of time of assessment, we don't quite know whether or whether or not they share properties. So we say that A or B, in neutral, and this is easy, right? This should be really simple. Positive share, negative don't share, neutral may or may not share. I mean, that's as foundational as it gets, right? So A and B may or may not share. A or B may or may not share, right? May or may not share properties, right? So, with respect to this pattern, this very basic structure, um, which is uh, our our typical analogy, A is like B, we can say that that relationship, A is like B, has three forms, right? Three types of manifestations that it can take. The first is a positive analogical relationship which is A and B share properties. The second is a negative analogical relationship, which is A and B do not share properties. And then the last is a neutral analogical relationship, which is A and B may or may not share properties, you know, and then we'll apply some tests and find out if it has been converted to a positive analogical or a negative. Okay, that should be super simple. If you get this, this is all you need to understand. If you get this, gradually what we'll do, just like I did in the last section, section one, is we're going to profoundly complicate this concept so that you can, I'm, I, I'm not going to go into a discourse on higher order thinking, but as I said, a lot of this is used within curriculum design for educators in assessing students' sort of intellectual ability and stuff. Stuff like this is used Maybe not at the level that I'm going to take it. The LSAT test is, 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 I hear, hard, but it's not going to be nearly as difficult as some of the concepts that I'm going to put down here. These concepts are far more difficult than many of the um, sort of logic games that I've seen on the LSAT. But if you understand this structure, uh, it's just overwhelming the application uh, that this has. And once we get to the applications, I'll chime in and, you know, let respective parties know that this would be a good application for your discipline, blah, blah, blah. So here's uh, example one, right? This is the first example. I don't want to erase the board just yet. Well, actually, I'm going to have to erase the board. I need space. So make sure you know that. Okay. All right. So the first thing is to look at an example of what we just did. All right, the first example. All right. The claim is, and I designed this question myself, right? The claim is, or the statement myself, Robert quickly established dominance like, like, analogy. Robert quickly established dominance like a silverback gorilla. Okay? So, Robert quickly established dominance. like a gorilla, G-O-R-I-L-L-A. All right, so Robert quickly established dominance like a silverback gorilla. I mean, that, that, makes, that makes sort of basic sense, right? No, nothing complicated at all about that. We all know what that means, right? 
Um, we don't have information with respect to context, but just given what we have, Robert quickly established dominance, like a silverback gorilla. You have a pretty, you have a pretty good idea of what that means. Now, let's take this sentence and apply the idea of the three forms of analogical relations with respect to A is like B to this sentence. Robert quickly established dominance like a silverback gorilla. So that's what we're going to do. Taking the sentence and we're going to identify within the sentence the respective forms of analogy in the sentence. Again, obviously, this would be, now here's why I chime in, this would be great for, um, at least at this level, would be great for K, maybe not K, maybe 6 through six through 12, right, uh, educators, English ed uh, teachers, this would be a great sort of instrument that you could use to help your students understand um, what will end up being very, very complex patterns. But at this level, it's just very basic, right? We're going to look at a sentence. You could tell your class, I would imagine, you, uh, English teacher. You could look at, here's the sentence I'm going to give you, and from the sentence I'm going to give you, I want you to identify the three forms of analogical relations with respect to the sentence, right? And, and they go about doing it. Okay, so the first is the positive. <clears throat> Remember, we said that a, po a positive analogical relationship with respect to A is like B, assumes the form <clears throat> that A and B share properties P1 through Pn, right? We, I just said that, right? They just share properties. Okay. Um, shared properties I have there. So Robert and the silverback gorilla both established dominance. What is it that they share? The, the, the thing that Robert and the gorilla share as a positive analogy is that they both establish, and you can even be more technical, right? You can even say they quickly establish. It's not just that they establish, but they quickly establish dominance. So what do they share? Both Robert and the, I'll just put gorilla, establish dominance, right? So what is the shared attribute, right, the positive analogy assumes that A and B share properties, P1 through Pn. Um, a positive analogy is the recognition that both Robert and the gorilla establish dominance, right? Robert quickly establishes dominance like a silverback gorilla. Okay. Number two. I think that's obviously clear. You see that the A is like B, A and B share properties, the properties that Robert and the gorilla share is they both establish dominance. Dominance. You can even take it a step further and say they both do it very quickly, right? They establish dominance quickly. Negative analogy. Next. Remember, anytime we're talking about negative analogical relationships with respect to A is like B, we're saying that A and B do not share properties, right? There are features that they share, but with respect to some, they don't share certain properties. So what are the negative analogical, um, what is the negative analogical relationship between Robert and this gorilla in this example, right? They are different species, right? They are right? They're different species, different sizes, different levels of intelligence. Dot, 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 dot. You can get as technical and as detailed as you want, right? Depending on how sensitive you want your measure to end. I'm jumping ahead, but you can get as technical, just at this point, you can get as, as detailed as you want. I'm just listing a few of them, right? So um, they are different species, they are different sizes. Uh, what else did I say? Different levels of intelligence. And on and on and on, right? So, what do they share? They both establish dominance. What makes them different? Different species, different sizes, different levels of intelligence, right? Characteristics, properties that are not shared in the analogical relationship between A is like B. Okay? Should be pretty simple. And then three, remember, and it's, it's, I think the example will help because you'll need to know what um, the neutral is. A neutral form. neutral form, again, properties that may or may not be shared, and the precise way, what's vague, right, the precise way in which dominance was established is neutral, 
right? We don't know precisely if they shared exactly 